Hi and welcome along everyone. Today I'm going to be looking at a doorbell with a little bit of a difference. Finally I think things have turned a corner with them. So traditionally there would be our bell push there wouldn't it? The old fashioned bell push which we still have as these new ones a bell push. Inside we have our battery box and bell in there and of course when we ring it we get the usual kind of dingy dong so shall we do that now? Why not? And we'll see what happens to me. I get an extra alarm that a lot of you probably don't normally get. Let's see. Yeah, that's my extra alarm. Hello, Mo. <laughs> no, so I don't need much more of an alarm. You know, my bell's fine because I get Mo comes in on the act. Help me out if anybody comes along. But that's okay for me. But uh, what about latest technology with doorbells now? Let's take a look. What have we got? So, before I show you our latest bit of kit, I will just tell you a little story. Um, I was supposed to be looking out for the postman the other day, uh, and I was down in the garage with the door shut, and of course, uh, I missed the doorbell going. <laughs> so I've got the usual little thing for the letterbox to say, I've now got to go to the post office to collect it the next day. Uh, Jan wasn't too pleased. Um, and uh, another occasion I was out in a shed, and again the doorbell gone. Missed another parcel but there you go. So I did think about these kind of plug-in doorbells that are wireless um, but I dismissed them because they've been out a long time and I once bought one for my father when he was alive and um, stuck it on his outside door, uh, put a receiver in his kitchen and it was nice and loud because he was a bit deaf. Um, but what happened? Well, within six months, the little battery inside the bell push had gone and he'd been missing everybody because uh, he was partially deaf anyway. Uh, but when I got there one evening, I was pushing the doorbell to no effect. Um, I couldn't get him to hear me. Uh, luckily, obviously, I carry a spare front door key and could let myself in and I renewed the battery. But I pretty quickly thought, well, that's of no use. And I reverted back to, like I've just showed you, the old fashioned doorbell with the push. Uh, that I knew was going to be reliable. But now something's come along that I think could change all that and make things finally uh, a bit easier without all these problems of batteries. Mm -hmm. So Jan's looking around Amazon, see what's around, and came across these. Coup power. And what's different about them? Well, finally, here we have something that doesn't use a battery. There is no battery. Uh, you plug in the units as usual. Uh, let's just show you the normal plug. So you can plug them where you'd like. And finally, we also have good range. Uh, the other one that I used for my father is very short range. If I plugged it outside in the garden, it never reached. These I've tried right out in the garden, out in the shed, down in the garage. Uh, and they reach. I've had no problems whatsoever. They do 40 meters through solid walls uh, indoors and 150 meters in the open air. Well, obviously the open air doesn't count because we're plugging them indoors somewhere, aren't we? Or out in the garage. But that's quite an impressive range, I think. Here is what you get in the box. Obviously your two receivers, instruction book, barely need it though, door push, and a little fixing kit and there is a bit of sticky double-sided tape because you can stick this um, doorbell on if you've got double glazing and you don't want to stick it you don't want to screw it should i say anywhere at least you could do a bit of double-sided tape it's in the box there uh, you can stick it over the back and just stick it on it's quite good it'll hold up there uh, if you don't want to penetrate anything with screws so as i push this button you get a, like a little click where you can almost feel that moving inside uh, the magnet housing. You can feel it there and hear it. When I push the button, you'll hear the receiver go. That's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> and it's obviously volume controls on the side of it. I'll get the other unit out so you can see. Uh, and there we have the volume controls up and down and changing the tune. So we'll change the tune now. So there's lots on here, lots of tunes. I'll play my particular favourite one. Here's the volume button on the side. So you can turn it right down, very low. I'll we'll turn it back up. And the second button down here is the tune selector. 
good. <laughs> so, with these, one of these is going with me, obviously down to the garage when I'm working down there. Uh, and the other and the odd one stays at the back of the house here, where the old bell chime is now, really, uh, in the same place in the hall with a plug socket there. Uh, but it does mean the one that's portable I can take around with me. So if I'm out in the shed, um, I won't miss the door when it goes. I think this is a really great idea. Um, I'll give you the link if you want to buy these. Jan spotted on Amazon. Great, I think. Um, just saying, I thought I'd bring to your attention. Finally, I think we've got something that uh, um, is really useful in that no batteries are being used anywhere else. This is uh, quite a marvellous idea now, I think. Something that's going to gonna work and not run out on us like batteries always let us down, don't they? <laughs> so before we go, I just thought I would show you the Amazon picture uh, of these and how they work. These micro generators are inside the bell push there. And as you can see, it's a coil and it's probably a magnet on that push button going through there to generate the power. I mean, that is a pretty great idea, isn't it? A little micro generator. Let's lose the batteries once and for all. <laughs> Obviously, too, you can plug both these receivers in at the same time, different places in the house, and add different chimes on them as well. There you are, then. That's something I think quite a useful gadget, isn't it? <laughs> these are the kind of things. I like to review and buy um, because they are useful, make life uh, a little bit more easier at home. I think any innovation gadgets like this can be useful. Uh, I like them and I like reviewing them. <laughs> I'm always on the lookout for something new and different uh, that I can bring you, um, which is a little bit different from the norm that is useful indoors at home. Okay, that's it for me. As I say, I'll give you a link for it on the description uh, from Amazon. And uh, not bad price, only just over 20 quid, uh, which I think is not a bad price at all, really. Okay, well, that's it, though, from my videos. Usual place to go, Derek and 33. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>